My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and this is for James. He just asked me a quick question. It's maybe useful to nobody, so he's asking about a thread. Um, so just set up your thread that you want, so you know you have to do 10 millimeters there. Uh, extrude that out, I'm quickly doing this just to, what is it? My mouse has been really sticky, which is pissing me off. Um, so what you do is you basically get a base circle. So you, I just convert that edge, fuck it, it's floating, but who cares? Um, so there's the edge there. Then what I do is I go to features and there's a thing that says curves there. So you basically select that, go to curves, go to helix, and then you've got your pitch. You can do rotations, you can do variable pitch. And I'm just pausing it now just to check what your pitch was. <laughs> 0 0.75 like that. And I'm looking, I always forget where flip it the other way is and um because usually there's that double arrow thing backwards and forwards i'm like what the hell is it doing and then i realize there's a little box there that says reverse direction i'm like oh for god's sake i was like there it is so you flick that and then i'm just going to set it to 20 or something just to get it going so there basically is the path to follow now this is the important thing if you are going to do a sweet cut of this and it's one of the best ways to do it you can see there that that's the beginning of my thread where that dimension is is the beginning of my thread and my mouse has been an obed so i set it like that let me just fucking sort myself out um so you'll see that there's a plane there which is the front plane that intersects that so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a sketch in there of my thread profile the reason why you'd want to do it this way or the reason why i do it this way is because if you want to do a trapezoidal thread uh, a twin start thread a triple start thread or whatever if you learn how to do it um, without using a thread tool or anything you know it's it's just a bit easier and it means you can do any kind of profile so what i'm doing is i never put that line on the edge of the cylinder because it doesn't like to cut so well so i'm just a hundred microns bigger um and my mouse has been a knobhead i think the batteries need changing basically you know you just make your your, your triangle or whatever you know if you've got a 55 degree trapezoidal thread you'd use that you know stuff like that so normal v thread 60 degree inclusive and then what i like to do and it's only because of experience of dicking around with things is get a center line from the midpoint and then make that parallel and then make that coincide with the origin like that and then that basically makes sure my form is always the same then I get that edge to that edge and say, right, well, I, you know, I want to cut whatever thread depth I want to cut and not fuck it up my keyboard, like so. The other thing is you can do is once you've done this, instead of using a thread form tool or whatever, you can put any form you want to put in there. So I'm just reading this and it's saying, oh, you've, you're far too big, so 100 microns. You can even put like a radius on the inside as if it's a cutting tool. So, you know, you can basically do it like that. And then all you do is you just exit that sketch and then the mouse has been a knobhead again. Um, and you just basically do a swept cut. So you can do it either way, but you can um, pick your profile like that, go to features, just go swept cut, tell it to pick the helix like so. And then you just go, yeah. And then booyah, that's it. And then the mouse has been a dickhead again. So if I get a close-up view, you can see we've got a thread form there with a nice radius on the inside. You can even do the, you know, like a, a, a radius on the outside. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit. 